Okay, thanks a lot. Well, still so many of us are without power from Tuesday's storms. It is a frustrating waiting game, especially for those who have a hard time getting around without electricity. Michelle Nix continues our 19 first alert coverage. She went to an apartment complex where tenants are desperate for power to be restored. Imagine trying to navigate this hallway with a walker or a cane, and this is what you see pitch black darkness. That's what the people living here at Willoughby Hill Senior Apartments are dealing with, and they're told they won't have a working elevator or electricity for at least six more days. It's obscene. You know, they should have a power. We've had power off and on before, but not like this. And they should have had a generator for this building. Frank Ortica fears the health and safety of his neighbors could be in jeopardy after losing power during Tuesday's storms. It's horrible. Mrs. Armstrong and her daughter had to use a headlamp to safely light their path up the stairs and down the hallway. I Get think around. it's really hard because there are people here that have walkers, have wheelchairs, and if they're on the second or third floor, they have to call 911 to get them up and down. In fact, those who live here say calling 911 is what the management at the senior apartments have advised them to do, while providing no other options for seniors who feel stranded. We're on our own. R19 news cameras were rolling when Willoughby Fire was called to assist a man who lives on the third floor. We got some straps, okay? We got strap you in, okay? Five firefighters, with the help of my photographer's bright light, were needed to get Gordon Schilling safely down the stairs. And boy, was he thankful. Thank you, fellas. This has been great. Really? Yeah, I, Gordon Schilling. I, I, I can't go up and down steps, and uh, what we need is an emergency uh, power for the elevator. And while residents feel living independently is important, they feel senior apartments should still provide safety measures in the event of another crisis. Heather Ross is temporarily moving her father to an environment she feels is safer. I mean, I know this isn't assisted living, but, um, and he's very, you know, blessed to be able to pretty much, you know, take care of himself. But in a situation like this on the third floor, needs the elevator. 19 News reached out to the building manager at Willoughby Hills Senior Apartments to find out what could be done to assist residents in a situation like this. But my calls were not returned. Reporting in Willoughby Hills, Michelle Nix, 19 News.